Hi everyone. So now our next uh, light fittings we are going to discuss is uh, linear light, linear wall washers. We discussed linear lights earlier. Now we are going to talk about linear wall washers. So the linear wall washers is uh, mainly mainly using to light up the wall. Okay, like you can see this here. It has a small type of like wall washers to create the effect on the wall indirect this is all wall washers is always just keep it in your mind it, wall washer will be used for indirect only so whenever you need an indirect effect you need to use wall washers there are a lot of wattage from 10 watt to up to 100 watt uh, wall washer you can use like here you can use like let's say 10 watt wall washers and this kind of effect you can use around 60 watt or 48 watt wall washers that is you need to understand and depend on the uh, client side requirement how strong brightness they want so let's see here uh, you can see this effect the indirect effect the this is like a kind of amber so they use let's say maybe 24 watt wall washers to create this effect then also if you have something to light up with rgb with wall washers that you can use as well so all these wall washers you can use in in a lot of way in, in depend on the projects you can see here in different all the projects here uh, one effect here a different effect and here you can see with the glass another effect and it all all have it in a way of as building a structure you need to understand where you can use the linear wall washers so linear wall washers is always surface mount okay it, it has a surface mount you can see the, the every every light fitting this is the flexible the, the recently it has a lot of uh, using they can you can use the flexible wall washers but that is also a surface mount you can see here it has a clip it, you just need to with the nut bolt with the wall then you can use that these the uh, adjustable wall washers and as small as small fittings you can bend it any way you want like if any if you have any carved area or if you have any rectangular shape is small you can use this kind of adjustable but mainly widely use uh, like one meter or 50 centi this kind of wall washers so uh, wall washers this is a call of wall washers this is a small fin what you see is called call to create dentic layer so the light will not go the backward it will go only front side so this is a surface mount you cannot uh, there is no way to make it recessed very because it has a clip for recessed it a different type of fittings comes but for all the wall washers are surface mount wall washers can be 220 volt or 24 volt uh, that depend on the size of the fittings that depend on what color you want if it is rgb like if you have any rgb effect that you're looking for like this that that need to be 24 volt generally but nowadays uh, some manufacturers they put the uh, led drivers uh, back side of the wall washers so they install a driver behind the wall washers to to show them uh, i mean to get the effect directly the power directly from the drivers so because it has also uh, a reason like let's say this this wall washers it's a very powerful one it's around 60 watt so if they use the remote driver every four lights need to connect one driver which is a big hassle so and imagine the amount of wall washers required in this area so every four lights if you need to bring one one driver every four lights that's a hell of work so to avoid that the manufacturers what they use they use the light fittings with the individual driver which is they install externally back side of the light fittings uh, let me show it to you see i'm talking about this kind of wall washers okay so you can see this is a very big one and you can see these drivers which is externally installed with the wall washer this is to make it 220 volts so now you can give the feed to 220 and it's connect to another light so you don't need to bring every four lights one one dc power two for each light so you can just give one two twenty then you can just give at least let's say depend on your your area like 20 30 pieces you can connect okay so this is what to avoid to work uh, i mean uh, to uh, 
reduce the work of installation and to make it easy. So these all the things you can ask a manufacturer how that can be done. It depends which manufacturer you're working. If they are flexible with you, like if 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 they are uh, European manufacturers, sometimes they are not flexible as uh, uh, Chinese manufacturers because Chinese manufacturer there are a lot of manufacturers there who are flexible. So that depends on with whom you're working. If they can meet your requirements, if they can give you a customized solutions based on your requirement. So let's come here again. So if um, you're using individual driver for each light, then you can have a less headache and less wearing. So in a selection will be easy. But for the single colors, definitely it's a small driver. So that's always coming uh, integrated driver with the light fittings. That doesn't require to have a remote driver unless any consultant giving you an instruction that the driver need to be remote. Unless if they are asking, then you can use the integrated driver. If the consultant says no, you need to have the remote driver, then you can use the remote driver somewhere in the ceiling or, or anywhere in the roof or in any other area, um, electrical room, inside the electrical room. That depends on how far is it and how the access the cables, that depend on the MEP work. But uh, the remote driver and integrated 220 volt, that all depending on the client requirement or uh, the consultant requirement. If there is uh, no consultant requirement or anything, then you can decide either you want to use the integrated driver or 24 volt drivers. But one thing that is very important when you use 220 volt wall washers, okay, make sure that your LED driver is very high quality because 220 light driver get busted very easily. Like if it is remote driver, there is no drivers. It's only the PCB and the LED chip. So that the, the light doesn't get damaged. So in that case, the light will have the longer life. Like normally without, without drivers, one wall washers can work up to six, seven years, nothing will happen. But if you are using 220 integrated drivers and drivers is not good, then light will get damaged very fast. So when you use the 220 integrated driver, make sure that driver quality is very good. Otherwise, because in the facade, let, let's say this building, and here one light is damaged. And to come here again, it's not easy. It's not that inside you, one bulb is damaged and you just remove it and install it again. For facade, whoever working in facade lighting that knows that maintenance in facade is very difficult. Sometimes it's by rope access, some, some, sometimes by cradle or boom lift, man lift. So it's not easy as indoor light fittings that one light get damaged and easily just remove it and install it. So when you're deciding on the light fittings for the facade, you need to be very careful what you are installing because the money you are spending for installation, maybe more money you need to spend in future for the maintenance and maybe it, it, it will be a big loss for you or for the client. So you need to understand the both sides, the client should not suffer later and let's say after one year you install the lights and after one year light getting busted and the client is suffering every time they need to bring the boom lift or rope access to, to replace the light. So you need to be very careful on that to choosing the light fittings. So this is this that's all for the wall washers. We'll go for next light fittings.